Hey guys, what is up? Global BC here. Welcome back to the Road to Glory. This is episode number four. We're starting this episode off with a fans footy vote. This is midfield dominate. I haven't checked what this is, so we're finding out together here. And if you don't know, oh, serious, serious EA. What is even the point of this vote? <laughs> what the hell, EA? I want to be real with you for a minute. Isn't Zonzi going to get a vote? <laughs> Isn't Zonzi going to get a single vote? Kondogby has already got a really good card, which is affordable. Affordable? Which is affordable. It's doing like 50k for a really good card. And then you got Pogba. What, EA? I don't like Manchester United at all, and I'm still tempted to vote for Pogba, because it's that obvious of a choice. <laughs> Um, well, I'm going to vote for Kondogby just because I don't want to vote for a Manchester United player, but Pogba's going to win anyway. So, um, should I take vote for Pogba just to get a game with Pogba? No, I'm going to vote for Kondogby. I like Kondogby in this game, and he's not a Man United player, which obviously helps. Um, yeah, what a stupid vote by EA that is. <laughs> if Pogba doesn't win that, I'll eat my hat. I have a hat over here. I'll eat that hat if Pogba doesn't win this vote. Wow. <laughs> Alright, this is my first time coming on FIFA for today, which is a Friday, so let's see if there's any new SBCs. Okay, there's obviously a footies day bonus, we'll do that in a second. We have a foot swap deals player. Um, oh, flashback for Dahl, nice. Oh, well, if this is cheap, I might actually do it, because we got some nice La Liga plays. Inus main Dembele, and um, we have a ramble, like just sell Varane, obviously, but untradeable wise, we. Whoa! Okay, we're going to be doing this Vidal. It's a really good card, I assume. And Barcelona like, don't have any good box-to-box -box midfielders. Mm-hmm. 5 for 11, right? Yeah, 4 star weak foot. Okay, we're going to be doing this card, guys. I usually don't like doing untradeables this early in a road to glory. But this Vidal for an a tier team with an inform. Wow. That is sick. That uh, We're definitely doing this card. That is awesome. That is exactly what the doctor ordered right there. That is amazing. We'll do an 81 plus inform. Oh, are they gone? Oh, don't tell me they're gone. Oh, no, they took them away. I was going to do an 81 plus inform pack. And then put that in the Vidal. Oh, oh deja vu. What's this? What? No, no, no. Fla player pick a flashback nanny, flashback Rooney, flashback V or flashback Chicharito. Alright, let's. I'm gonna complete this footy state voting and I'll be back when I have it completed. So, this is how I completed it, guys. The two rares I'm using are the Savage and the Rose. I'll just go through it quickly here. You guys can see that it cost me 1600 coins. I just bought four random non rares off the transfer market for 400 coins each, as you can see. And um, yeah, the Rose is untradeable. And oh, the Savage is tradable. Oh, it's a good thing I caught that. I thought he was untradeable. Is he worth much? Okay, I almost just cost myself 2,400 coins, then 3,000 coins. I honestly thought that he was untradeable. So instead of him, I'll use Glick and hope I still get chemistry, but it's unlikely I do because I bought the League of Players. Oh, good, Glick still has work, and he's definitely untradeable. So that is awesome. So I can sell Savage for like 3 or 4k and, um, yeah, make more coins than I get back spent on this entire thing. That was close. Um, I'm really glad I checked that. But anyway, as you guys can see now, it cost me 1,200 coins, 1,600 coins, and didn't lose an A3 tradable player. That would have been annoying. Um, so yeah, I will trade that in. We get a 45k back for that. Since it cost me 1,600 coins, we get guaranteed profit from this SPC, which is not bad at all. Here we go. Uh, last one of these, I believe, was pretty bad. In fact, I might have actually gotten that Savage from it now that I think about it. Oh, it's a thin pack. That's really unfortunate. It can still be something okay. Smalling? John Stones. He's not that bad, I guess. <laughs> what else do we have in this pack? David Villa. Rudiger, he's not bad. Might actually use Rudiger at some point. Well, he's obviously good for making Bundesliga Premier League hybrids. We keep getting Pre Premier League left backs. It's really strange. We haven't gotten Robbo yet, though, unfortunately. Okay, we can probably get about 7k from this pack at least, I'd say. Yeah, quite easily. Oh, wow, right. Stones are 2k. Okay, that's awesome. So we'll list up Stones, Dingy, and that's probably it. 
I know it's not the smartest thing to do, guys, but I thought it'd be fun if we did an 81 plus double upgrade. Maybe we'll get a couple of plays that'll help doing the David Beer eventually, but you guys can see I did it with mostly untradable plays, but a few tradable ones. So opportunity cost, uh, this probably cost me like 6k, 5k, I could have gotten from some of those plays. So we better get something. If we get 281s, and this is a bit of a bust. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I will trade this in. I've been using that Spanish striker, I have a left main middle there, to come off the bench to try and get Spanish goals and rivals to get that final foot swap and then the 50k pack. But since the fact that I'm going to be using him off the bench now, so I'm fine with using him. Hopefully we get something good here. These have been really good on my other account. I've opened like 10 of them. I've gotten like 6 walkouts. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Looks like something just sold while I was getting ready to open this pack. We we're up to 3.3k now. I think I had 1.7k before opening this. Come on, EA, please, 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 please give us a big pack pool here. Okay, it's a gold player. It's boards, so it's probably worth French. Striker, Benzema. Okay, then that was definitely worth doing. The other players are Morales, which is a bit unfortunate. So that looks Spanish player in the Liga, though. I could use him in rotation to try and get... Yeah, it doesn't seem that bad, to be honest. Yeah, it wouldn't be that bad as a can. Four-star weak foot. Yeah, that's not bad at all. He can be my bench Asensio. Because Asensio is really not good, guys. He's so clunky. And uh, yeah, that was a good pack. That was definitely worth doing, thank goodness. <laughs> I was so scared I was going to regret that, but absolutely do not. Awesome. Thanks to Asensio being quite clunky. I ended up actually replacing him with some gold Morales guy who I got. And he got a couple goals in his debut. So we have eventually completed the swap deals player 2 and therefore the completionist. Which is awesome. So yeah, I finally don't have to use Spanish players in my team anymore. So I'm probably going to sell my team and then make one that doesn't have... Because I purposely put, made my fitness team have Asensio in it. Just so I had a Spanish player here was capable of scoring goals in it. So yeah, we'll send Jimenez into the club. And then now we can complete the completionist. And we can open up a 50k pack. This is untradeable, so we can't sell whatever we get. But who knows, maybe we'll get a player that we can put into one of our teams. At least our fitness team. Come on, EA, please. It's a thick pack, at least. So it's at least 83 rated, then. French. Centre-back. This could be good. Is there a player I could have gotten that's more useless for us to have? <laughs> oh, come on, EA. That's just mean. <laughs> for a second, I thought that was going to be a good pack pool. But... Oh, okay. Gnabry's good. I really like using Gnabry. And then, apart from that, I swear I get lucky in every single 50k pack I ever open. We got Manny Ryan, which isn't too bad, but... Yeah, okay, we'll use Kempembe in an SBC, obviously, since we have his 92 card. We'll definitely use Gnabry, and then everyone else here is... Not great. Oh, there's the Morales guy I was talking about. Hopefully the one I use is tradable. No. Alright, we'll discard the one I had then, I guess, because this one will have more fitness and more contracts. <laughs> there we go. Morales' uh, thank you for the uh, making me complete the objective was replacing him. So there you have it. So since I finally got the Spanish goals, uh, I didn't need a Sensio anymore. And without Sensio, I didn't need Cruz anymore. And I didn't like Ben Yedda. I only got one goal in the seven games. I was forced spending it to a Sensio, so I was only trying to score with Ben Yedda, But I didn't really like this team anyway, this fitness team. So I did sell them all here. As you guys can see, I made a couple K loss on Cruz and Ben Yedda. I made like a K on Asensio. I made like 2K on Tolisso for some reason. I've got no idea why he went up so much. Um, uh, Stones, we packed. Dinge, we packed. Shields, we packed. Vokt, I bought for like 900, so I made a profit on him. And Gulavogi, we bought for 700. So I probably made like 10 coins on him. I don't really know. Anyway, we'll clear that. And it is Saturday now, guys. I've also got some things I didn't sell here, so I'll relist those in a minute. For some reason, Farman was like 8K last night. He didn't sell. Yeah, he's still like... 4k, I don't know why, it must be like a foot bin like SBC solution using him or something if he can sell for that much, that will be amazing because he's out of contracts too, so I've used the 7 games on him and I could like triple my coins on him, that will be fantastic, so we'll listen for 3.8k, he should sell for that hopefully, I'll relist those two off of camera, but since it's Saturday guys it does mean there's new weekly objectives, I have looked at them already accidentally I saw them when I was scrolling through Reddit, they look phenomenal you guys can see the first one here, Benjamin Mendy, um, footies card it, it looks ridiculous I saw his stats in, um, just in the concepts. It looks insane, apart from his agility. But anyway, assist using a Premier League defender in six separate rival matches. We have Alberto Miranda to do that. We also have Rose, I believe. So we have a few, uh, a couple Premier League defenders who are capable of getting assists. So that one doesn't seem too difficult. This Jemaya Saint Just, though, it has 94 paces, so I'm going to send it back. And he's obviously 
a green link to my promise. So I'm definitely going to try and get this. As difficult as it might be, win four online single matches using 11 silver Eredivisie plays. I'm actually going to make a video uh, eventually this week of just doing that because I think that'll be a fun challenge video. So that won't actually be a video of the Road to Glory. It'll just be like a regular like challenge video on my uh, channel. But yeah, so if you see that pop up, check that out because it is kind of a part of this Road to Glory. But it won't technically be an episode of the Road to Glory if that makes sense. But anyway, this next one is pretty insane. Score and assist in three separate rival matches using a flashback player to get a future star player. I assume that's just a pack which has a guaranteed future star players. That could be Trent Alexander-Arnold, which would be amazing. It'd also make this much, much easier. But you might be thinking, we have no chance of doing that because the only ones we can do are expensive. We can't do them. But thanks to this next one, Flashback Pato, score and assist with Brazilian players in three separate squad battle wins on pro difficulty. That is super easy. So we get the Pato to then do this, which is awesome. And then draft token, assist seven goals in future stars plays. We can do that once we have this. And win 15 matches is self-explanatory. So all of them kind of link up together, and it's awesome. Oh, I just realized my face cam's off. Let's turn this on. Hopefully it's there. Okay. Um, so yeah, this is really, really awesome. I love this weekly objective because not only is it fantastic rewards, but they're all linked to each other. So they'll like help each other to complete each other. It's awesome. Absolutely love these uh, weekly objectives. Great work, EA. But anyway, since it is Saturday, I'm going to hop on my other account now and get back into some foot champs. And I'll be back on this account later. As you guys can see, these guys did sell. We made a lot of coins and farming, as you can see, and Upa Meccano, and of course it was packs. So we just made a 50 for him, obviously. And as you can see, we sold a lot of bronze. I did start doing the bronze pack method, guys. I opened bronze packs for about 20 minutes, and I already made about 6k from it, and I got like 49 contracts, and a couple fitness cards. So yeah, we did very well so far. Not everything's even sold yet. So we'll clear all that, realist these things. And you guys can see I've only got about 5k. That is because I made a new fitness team, and it is really, really cool. I'll show you that right now. As you guys can see, it is really, really cool. We got Origi here, which is awesome. He has a Liverpool fan. I like using Origi. Plus, he's actually a pretty damn, damn decent card. Good strength, good height, good finishing, everything you need on a striker. He's right-footed. We have... Um, I'll show you guys, actually, this is how it starts. Obviously, everyone gets chemistry, as you can see. And I'll show you how it plays in-game. In-game, it plays like this. 4-2-3-1, which is one of the meta uh, formations in the game. I haven't used it too much this year. But uh, from the couple games I've played, just squad battle games, it has looked pretty decent so far. Legendary squad battles, uh, that's why the stats aren't like overinflated. Legendary squad battles is so much harder than Div Rivals <laughs> uh, when it's a good team anyway. As you guys can see, uh, we have Alessandrini and Felipe Anderson as the wide cams. They're very good at that because they've both got very, very good pace, obviously. Uh, Nebicator is a central cam. Some of you might be questioning that. He's got great dribbling, great short pass. And his shooting isn't that bad. He actually makes a pretty good central cam. Just for like bringing up the ball with his good dribbling. And then doing a short pass to one of these three guys. He's actually really, really effective in that way. Obviously, I've only played a couple games. So I haven't really done much with him yet. But he actually got a goal. He got a really nice long shot. And uh, the two CDMs of Matuidi and Fabinho don't really need that much explanation. That's just really good. The defense is fairly weak. Uh, with Jesus and Dalbert. Who aren't that bad at cards. They've both got good pace. For their position. But then Manolas and Cancelo are like... Manolas is like the best centre back in the league. And Cancelo is the best right back in the league. And then Donnarumma is a very good 83 rated goalkeeper. With the uh, basic chem style. Uh, you guys can see he goes up... When he gets 10 chemistry. When he gets loyalty for me. he will have 99 diving. 99 reflexes. And 89 positioning. Such a ridiculously good goalkeeper for 2.8k. I'll show you guys how much I bought everyone for here. Cancelo was actually surprisingly expensive. I've had him once before already on this series. I don't think he costs anywhere near as much as 6k. I think he was like 4.5k or something. So that's a bit annoying. He's probably going to go down quite a lot. But yeah, that is the fitness team now. And actually, it's really good. The thing I like about it most, guys, is I honestly don't know which team I prefer. The fitness team or the main team. And that's exactly what I wanted to achieve. So that is the fitness team, guys. Now let's go check out an SPC that I have pre-completed. Before I get on to the SPC that I have completed, guys, I just wanted to say, I think I said that everyone gets full chemistry. I misspoke. Alison Drini only gets 7 chem, but that is enough for him because his stats are so good compared to everyone else. He doesn't really need the full boost. As you guys can see, he still gets bonuses even on uh, only the 7 chemistry. So, yeah, now that I have clarified that, let's go and complete the foot swap SPC. So, you can't see because of my face cam, but for this foot swap deals player uh, SPC, I have exactly the rating and the chemistry that you need. Uh, I have one more German player than you needed, but that is all good. And um, yeah, so this is how much it did cost. Uh, 500 there, 650 there, 1150 coins total is how much this cost. Plus there are some tradable cards here. 
So there is some opportunity cost. So I'll say this costs about five or 6,000 coins, but that is definitely worth it because with the one that I have left, uh, foot swap play that is, and with the one that I'm going to get from squad battles tomorrow morning, which will be at the end of this video, and then obviously this one, I will be, get, be able to get the Daniel Vuss. So it's definitely going to be worth six or 7,000 coins here. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to use any of these untradeable players, even Valorabi. So um, yeah, I will trade this in, and we do get a foot swap deal player there. I think his name is Buntik. Here is a little training tip for the end of the game here, guys. This doesn't work really well at the start of the game, but at the end of the game, no one really wants these like low-rated gold rares, so they go for on bid for pretty cheap. I picked up two for 650. He's one of them in that SPC that you just saw, and now here's another one for 650, and I should be able to sell this guy pretty quickly for around a 1,000 coins and get like a quick half K profit right there. So let's see how much this guy actually is going for on bin. 2,400 so far is the cheapest. Still 2,400. 2300, 2200, and then we got the cheapest bin is 2200. So I'm going to put this up for 2000, and then if that sells for even on bid, we've made a thousand coins profit. If it sells on buy now, we've made 1500 coins just like that. So easily. I just chucked 650 coin bids on five of those guys. We won two out of the five. Just like that, we should be able to make a thousand coins or so, which is awesome. Now let's get on to the squad battle rewards. All right, so we have squad battle rewards and we should have elite one. Yes, good. I was up to 4 a.m. playing squad battles last night to make sure we stayed in it. Oh, awesome. So we get 30,000 coins, which is sick. Two 55k packs, which is obviously sick. And the final footstop player, which is pretty cool. Not, not quite sick. Not as sick as the other two things. <laughs> anyway, let's send Nakamura into the club that puts us up to 44,000 coins now let's open up these 55k packs this is awesome i'm so glad that i did this it's going to be tough to go on my other account and finish with champs now because i've only got four hours to play the 10 games but it's obviously doable so 44.4 thousand coins and two rare mega packs come on here with all things that are in packs i could get a lot of coins out of these packs guys come on please that's a thin pack Zonzi. Oh boy. The second pack better be an absolute banger. I guess there could be like like nine squad fitnesses in here. That'll be like 10k. That'll be like, yeah, around 10-ish k. 9-ish k. Yeah, Unai Emery. Obviously a lot of rare plays, which is good in itself. I mean, they all go for something, obviously. There we go. Okay, that's 200 coins each on the contracts. That's 4k in squad fitnesses. Okay, that's not that bad. We can probably get like 15-ish k from this. That's probably worth something. That's probably not. And then the second if I came back. Hopefully it's about 10 times better than that first one. That first one was very disappointing, guys. I'm not going to lie. Hopefully we just get a board from this one. Okay, it's a thick pack. It's a blue. Team of the season. Come on. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, Nabby? Nice! That's actually sick. I've got a once to watch Nabby Kata in my um, fitness team. I'll sell that and pop this in. Even though I can get a little bit more coins for this one, I want to have the first owner Nabby in my team. That's actually an awesome pack pool. Oh, and Cruz! A 90 rated pack pool! Cruz is about 30k, guys, and I can sell my Nabby for about 15k. So that's about 45k. So four Scott and Fizzlers. Wow. So from these 55k packs, yes! Awesome! Goodbye, Australia. Alright, this was definitely worth staying up to 4am to put, make sure I get Elite 1, guys. Once I sell both everything from both these packs, apart from this Navigator, and I sell my ones to watch Navigator, and then the other pack, and the 30k, I reckon I got about... Oh, a good 80 to 100k out of squad battles this week, because that was definitely worth it. I am so happy with that. I'll send uh, all these plays and stuff to the club now. I'll list up these squad fitnesses. And that will be it for today's episode, guys. And next episode, you guys will see how many coins we have accumulated from these rewards. I'm super happy. Hopefully, you guys are too. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please do leave a like, guys. It helps out a lot. If you want to see more videos like this, then please subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.